Da Vinci Resolve's D-Warp capability is actually insane. If you guys can't tell, I am currently filming on an 11 millimeter fisheye and it is bendy. The walls are bendy. This window looks bendy. If I go over here, my face, arms, hands, everything looks so weird because it is a fish eye lens. It's intentionally extremely obnoxiously wide and causes all kinds of weird distortion, which is a ton of fun and I love it. I love it a lot. But let's take this same shot horizontally and now we have the D-Warp turned on in DaVinci. I'll put a little B-roll here on where to find that. And this suddenly looks like a very linear lens or whatever you would call it. It's not warped, it's not bowed. It's actually crazy good. But I've been making a lot of short form vertical content and I do love this lens and I have been using it when I haven't been using my iPhone. Let's flip this and see if it does as good of a job vertically. One-handed, can I do this one-handed? Vertical. All right, and we are recording again. Obviously, hopefully you can see it. This lens, when you go vertical, I mean, it just squishes everything. Like my legs down here and my hand is like, as far as I can reach is in the frame. This is a crazy lens vertical. So I'm just curious if we go over there to DaVinci Resolve and we click that <laughs> button again, does this look less warpy? Again, I don't know, up here at the top, does this flatten out? Does this look better? My legs and my weird <laughs> body positioning, does some of this straighten out? I don't know, I'm just curious because I know that it works great horizontal, how does it work vertical? Thanks for coming along with me on today's Dorky Daddy Science Experiment Curiosity. And subscribe, remember, we're comparing DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro at the end of all of this, so. Finger guns.